school will be out for the summer and that will give kids all kinds of extra time to play. And while water slides and park slides are fun, one kind of slide to avoid the summer slide. But our friends at Priority Health have great suggestions to keep them active and learning all while having fun all summer long. We want to welcome back Molly McCoy, the Director of Client Services. Thank you for being back. Thanks for having me. So first question, what is the summer slide? It's not a game. No, unfortunately it's not a game. When kids are out from school for the summer, they statistically tend to lose two months of development that they learned in the previous school year. And then when they get back to school, it takes a good couple months for them to regain that loss and get back up to speed. But we've got ideas, okay. so don't panic. We've All right, because I was going to be like, oh my goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> Priority Health has come up with some great ideas to help our kids um, stay, uh, not not become a victim of that summer slide. Okay, so let's. What what are some of the ideas that you have? What are the community programs? Let's start right, with that. so most local communities have plenty of options and ideas that. Um, kids can participate in. They, they have a curriculum that they schedule. You can contact your local Parks and Rec Department, your local schools, the local YMCA. They have plenty of activities for kids from pre-K all the way through high school. The um, areas of interest can include math, science, art, music, athletics, life skills, and they often have scholarships if it's something that your family can't afford. That's such a good idea. Now what about field trips? Oh, I love doing family field trips. We are fortunate to live in a community with a plethora of venues for families to have some fun in. So I think it's a great idea to take your kids and sit down at the beginning of summer and say, let's make our summer bucket list. Like let's figure out where we're gonna go this summer. Pick one a month, the zoo, mm -hmm. the museum, um, the kids, when they're participating in that choosing, get really excited and anticipate, and anticipate the actual activity. And then after the activity, ask them to journal it. Hmm. It helps kind of keep that kind of creative juices flowing. And then that is an added bonus when they get back to school and the teacher says, what'd you do this summer? They've got a journal they to pull They have something up. to say. Not <laughs> yeah. like nothing. Right, right. Played with my siblings. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about gardening because you say that yeah. that's a good thing to yeah. do. Yeah. You know, there's nothing better than enjoying the fruits of your labor. And when you do this gardening with your children, you can teach them a lot about patience because they got to take time to watch the fruits of their labor grow. And it also teaches them about nurturing and responsibility of taking care of the plants to make sure that they do grow big. And, mm -hmm. uh, and what you, but I think the, the most fun you can have with this is when you plan a menu for the family around what was grown. So if you're growing some vegetables and some spices, have the kids pick that and contribute that to the family meal. It'll really give them a nice sense of pride. All kinds of learning lessons mm -hmm. in that. Okay, now let's talk about board games. These right. Some Monopoly, Yahtzee, chess, why are yeah. these good? Yeah, so it, learning through play, I mean, there's nothing better than that as far as keeping your kids' attention. And there's a lot out there that's available online and in stores. Even the dollar store has mm -hmm. activities like this that you can get for your children and can, and participate in this with them as a family. Do your weekly family fun night. Do it inside. Do it outside on a picnic table. This will keep their mind thinking. Very good. And last but not least, yes. good old-fashioned books. Most importantly, yes, read, 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 read. Uh, children that read 20 minutes a day mm -hmm. tend to have less of that slide occur, and they're also able to get back into the swing of things in school in the fall. Reading is an important hobby to to nurture and cultivate in your children starting as babies and all the way through their entire growth. Read to them, read with them, let them read independently. Have a little family book club where you get together and serve yummy little treats and talk about what you read in the book. Good ideas, good ideas for more great ways to help your kids and yourself and yourself lead happy, healthier lives, visit the website prioritylhealth.com and avoid the summer slide. Yes. Thank you so much for these great suggestions. Thank you.